Welcome back to another edition of Flight Time for Beginners. Today we're going to design ourselves a bass fly. The hook I have in the vise, this is a one aught chunk bait for weeds. It's a weedless hook. You can just get these at any tackle shop, bait shop, and such. You've got a nice weed guard on here, and it's built right onto it. There was two barbs in there, you can see right there and right there. But I just took pliers and bent them down. That's to help hold the bait on. These make good streamer hooks and weedless. I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to attach my thread right behind this big piece of plastic here. And I'm going to bring that thread back a little ways. If we don't have that weed guard on there, if you're using just a plain shank hook, what you need on long flies is a foul guard. And a foul guard is use heavy monofilament, or I have a piece of small wire here. This is beadlon wire. It is 0.38 millimeter or 15 thousandths. You can get that at any craft type store. We're going to tie this on, on the back, and this is going to make our foul guard. So when you're catching, casting, the materials don't get followed up, caught around your hook bend. This thread I'm using is heavy thread. I'm going to stop right there, and then I'm going to fold it over and we're going to tie that in on this side and it will be laying flat like that on the back you want to get this on one one piece on each side I'm going to undo that And you want to get this one on the side also. I'm going to secure that first. And I'm going to come back. I want to make sure that that's laying more or less flat like that. Go back just a little bit more just to ensure that it's laying there properly. And I'm going to bring my thread back up about halfway of the threaded area. What I like to do when I'm designing a bass fly, I like to always start with some stiff deer hair. And you get the stiff deer hair from tails. I'm going to start with yellow. I'm going to kind of make this one look like a little bit like a bluegill. And you don't need a whole lot of it. But you don't want to go too sparse with it either. That looks pretty good. That's about one and a half the length of the hook shank. We're going to tie that in right on top. I'm going to bring that thread back to our tie-in point. This stiff hair will also help act as a follow guard. I'm going to take some head cement. There's going to be multiple layers on here, so once in a while you want to put head cement on there, especially on your follow guard. Where you tighten your follow guard, you want to get that pretty good with super glue or head cement or whatever you use to bind it down from there I'm going to add some feathers in now I like to use a lot of different colors in my bass streamers I'm gonna add purple now this is a saltwater 
grade hackle. This is a purple. Looks very blue, but it's purple. And I'm going to select two of those. And I'm not going to tie in the fluff, so I'm going to pull them away just above the fluff. Give them a crew cut. I'm going to tie this in right on top. On top and to the sides, not directly on top. These feathers are also, they're very see-through. These are actually almost dry fly quality because of the rule of one-third web or less. You can see there's one less than one third you can see through them very very nicely and we're going to tie this one on the other side tie that down I'm going to take a third purple feather and I'm going to wind that in like the hackle. This will help to give it more water pushing ability. Makes more vibrations in the water this way. It's nice if you have a nice long wide hackle. That would be great. Actually this one right here is even better. Has a nice short stem also. So I'm going to tie this in. And I'm going to wind that hackle. And we're going to stroke these feathers back as we're going. And then, once I get to the real small ones, I'm going to tie that off. I'm going to hold the hackles back and wrap back. Careful of that weed guard. Just kind of wrap them back just that one or two thread widths to send them towards the back. And again, remove that excess. And we'll tie these in right slightly on the sides like we did with the purple. They don't have to be as long as the purple ones, but pretty close is good. Try to straighten it out there a bit. Yeah, I'll remove the excess. Now I'll take a big yellow one. Tie that in, and we'll wrap that just like we did the purple. Folding them back as we go. It's going to give a lot of movement to the fly. As you want. Nice little movement.
and then we'll tie that off. Trim off that excess. Now I'm going to take a couple grizzly feathers and I'm going to tie them alongside this. It doesn't matter if they're not perfect at the back here. Once they get in the water, they'll be fine. Trim that off. Take the grizzly for this side. And wrap that in there tight. I'm going to take the grizzly hackle and wrap in front of that one. Secure that pretty good. Move your thread up. And take this grizzly, fold the hackles back, and wrap it. pliers on it now. Just stroke them to the back. There we go. Tie that off. away that excess. Hold those back and go back on them just slightly to help them go backwards. As we all know, bass will eat just about anything they can get in their mouth. So the color combination is really up to you what you like. Just play around with it and uh, you'll come up with something good. Tie this in. Hold the hackles back. I'm going to pull that piece back too. There we go. And I believe I said I was going to make it kind of look like a bluegill. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this orange, this is pheasant rump. And I'm going to take a couple little big ones off the back. See these nice long feathers here. Something that's kind of wide. Give it that crew cut. Just lay that right on the side. I'm going to turn my vise slightly so I can make sure I get it properly tied on there.
The reason I use this yellow thread because it's a, this is heavy thread. It actually says big fly thread on it. The bluegills have that, uh, that little flapper off the, off the gill plate. I'm going to take a couple of the pheasant rump church feathers, church window feathers. I'm going to trim them down and put them on. I'm going to take that church window and I'm going to put that on right on the side. And place the one on my side. Wrap in the head. Pull that tight. going to take my Deer Creek Diamond Fine and I'm going to coat the head. Take that right around. Get some on there and then you can let it roll. You got to keep it moving because it will drip. Take my Deer Creek UV torch, let that roll, I'm going to roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and I'm going to hit it with the light as it's rolling. And in just a couple of seconds, that is hard. And this fly is going to be together forever. Be able to catch a lot of bass on it. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.